honorable member for Epton Meadowlark, leader of the Liberal Opposition. Mr. Speaker, happy Diwali. Mr. Speaker, the Premier promised big city charters when she ran for leader. She promised big city charters when she ran during the election. And her Minister of Municipal Affairs signed an MOU with Edmonton and Calgary committing to introducing legislation on big city charters in spring 2013. Yesterday, however, her minister told this House he couldn't keep his promise because of the flood. To the Premier, do you condone your minister using Alberta's worst ever, ever natural disaster as an excuse for your latest broken promise? Yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. Speaker, I don't know where the honourable member was yesterday, but I think I did update the House on the fantastic meeting that we had with the mayors of Edmonton and Calgary on Saturday morning, where we actually talked about the fact that we're making great progress on the Charter, that the mayor of Edmonton has asked for some time to work on their perspective on this with his council, which we're happy to give him, and we'll keep moving forward because it is the right thing to do. We did make the commitment and we're keeping it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, given that our urban premier repeatedly promised big city charters, it's interesting to note that her Rural Minister of Municipal Affairs repeatedly talks about civic charters which would treat Calgary like Carstairs and Edmonton like Edson. To the Premier, whose vision for municipal relations will prevail? Yours or your Minister's? Honourable Mr. Premier. Speaker, the vision of this government, the vision which is a commitment to communities and to big cities to make sure that we're putting in place relationships that respect their autonomy and ensure that they can be leaders in our province, Mr. Speaker. There is no difference between my perspective and the perspective of our Minister of Municipal Affairs, just, there is, is, as, just as there is no difference with anyone else on this bench. We want communities to thrive, yeah. and I'd appreciate it if that leader did not try to split people up in this province. Mr. Speaker, the question is about the Premier keeping her word and not breaking her promises. Maybe the Minister isn't challenging the Premier's leadership, but is maybe simply confused, given that he keeps talking about the Municipal Government Act when we ask him about big city charters. To the Premier, is this why Calgary's Mayor said your Minister, quote, really hasn't been a part of the conversation, unquote. Well, perhaps that explains you meeting the mayors on your own. And uh, it's a question. Does this mean that you're actually taking over the file? Honourable uh, oh, Mr. Speaker, there is incredible that. work that we do together as leaders in this province. I am very happy to meet with mayors throughout this province. I've met with Mayor Nenshi, here, here. I've met with Mayor Iveson, well, I've met with mayors in Lethbridge and Medicine Hat and Red Deer. And what we do every day is work to build those partnerships to ensure that we can provide the support because mayors and councils need to give the direction. I don't know what this honourable member is talking about or what he's trying to suggest, but I'll tell you, Mr. Speaker, we have a clear plan to move forward to build Alberta to support families and communities to respect leadership across I'm this province, behind. and that's what we'll do, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. Yeah.